Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge. But our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Commander? You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. Your men that crashed on Tachunka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. 
He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. The Salarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Aralak Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and I'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the Genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sirkesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <sighs> then talk about it some more. Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. What will you do after the Genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Salarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians, too? Or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. It is good you came by. I have questions about the Genophage. Morden sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right... Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. 
Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Loco! You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done... <laughs> ...makes me look sane. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yep. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. I'll talk to you later. You bet. <laughs>